Well, good morning, everybody. It's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. I got on my yellow and black polka dot dress today. Um, I was going to wear the black and white one, but I'm like, you know, I ain't never wore the yellow one, so get a little razzle-dazzle. Um, plus, I wanted something that was long. It's going to be super ancient hot today, like. And I know from my Texans, y'all like, mm-mm, my Florida folks. Nah, baby, that ain't hot. But for us, <laughs> it's going to be hot. It's supposed to be like 98 degrees. Heat index is supposed to be like 110 or something like that. Something as child, all I know is it's going to be hot. And her sister like, mm, I don't know, honey. I don't know. Um, It's actually early today. It's Yeah, it's real early. I don't even know why I'm attempting to go in so early, but whatever. Um, but I got some stuff I want to do. <laughs> so, yeah. Got some stuff I want to do, child. And I figure, let me do what I want to do before I really got to do what I need to do. If that makes sense. Yes, it makes sense. So. Whew, um getting ready for my anniversary. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I'm so excited, y'all. But y'all know me. I'm, I get excited all the time when it comes to my anniversary or any type of, anything that I'm going to be celebrating for myself and my husband. I don't know why this thing is moving. Like, I'm going to need it to get all the way together. I think it's not tight. I'm trying to get it tight. Anyway, but you know, I, I love anything when I'm celebrating myself and my husband. So, um, and we, you might say we started kicking out the celebration last weekend. So that was cool. Um, I'm still trying to decide on how I'm pinning up my hair. Cause I do want to pin it up, but I kind of like it down, but I want to pin it up to give it a little different look. So we shall see. I still got to get the stuff that I need to freshen the curls and all that stuff. Even though mama said it looked good. Mama saw me after it's been in a week. And she said, it still look good, girl. I was like, thank you, honey. <laughs> so, oh, we. Y'all ever be, for my ladies who do all, you know, like the decor stuff, right? Y'all ever be, like, changing your decor so much and moving this and packing away that to the point where you don't pack away something. And you like, where did I put that thing? Chow, how about? <laughs> and I know it's got to be like with pictures or something. But how about I packed away my degree. And I don't know where I put it. Like, it's, you know, it's packed away. So I'm like, oh my God. I don't know where I put my degree. But anyway. Mama got another copy of it, so I'm hoping Mama can find her copy, because, you know, Mama don't move. Mama got the pictures out, but I don't know where she put the degree at, so I'm like, I need you to find it. <laughs> they can find it probably quicker than I can find mine, because, honey, nigga, my house, Lord Jesus, help me, Father God. So, anyway. Oh, I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired, tired, tired. Um, I have decided that I am going to pack up my microwave and my refrigerator because I mean I use my fridge but I don't use my fridge if that makes sense so I'm like because now I don't take like drinks I don't take you know I don't take sodas I don't take juice um none of that to work right so the only thing I put in there is like my cream cheese and like if I got you know like my protein packs or whatever I put that in there or a salad but I've been kind of switching up, you know. And there's a microwave in the staff lounge. So, I, if I really need to, I could use it in there. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out. But I can't lift that. I can probably lift the microwave, but I can't lift the refrigerator. So, I got to see if the maintenance guy will be so gracious and so kind and help me lift it to my car. And don't scratch my car. How about I find another daggone dent on my car? Yes, your girl bought another dent. I was like, I happened to get out the car yesterday. And now, mind you, I go in that backseat door 50 million, 11 times. Because I typically put my purse, you know, in the back or whatever. Um, I happened to go in that back door yesterday. And I look, I said, what? A 
another and it's about that size because I'm telling you that hair was no joke so yeah so anyway I'm like man got my baby running around scratching dent hmm, literally um I mean none of the paint has been like chipped or whatever but still y'all lumpy <clears throat> God is good God, God is good God is good but yeah it's gonna be hot now this dress technically this dress is hot uh, I mean we'll probably heat up but I'm good I'm being air conditioned all day all day I'm planning to go outside don't plan to go outside I'm planning to look like I'm going outside I got my air on already in my office so it should be good and frigid when I get there um but yeah, I got some stuff I need to handle, go through, stuff I need to trash out. I forgot to put my trash outside my door yesterday. I was so happy to be leaving seven minutes early. I didn't care. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm going to leave my air on. Because typically when I get to work, I typically, you know, shut it down. And then, you know, when I get off, I turn it on. But I'm going to leave my air on in the car. And I'm going to start the car before I leave so it can cool down the car. Because, y'all, the way they talking about this heat today, oh, baby, ain't nobody got time. Nobody, nobody got time. Nobody got time. That be that. I mean, your girl's in a good mood. Oh, I'm in a real good mood this morning. I think I'm, uh, might be in by no trees, though. I'm in a real good mood. And... God is doing what God is doing. I did bring me some water this morning. I got an upset stomach. I, um, I think I'm going to turn it up, too. I, um, went to Subway for dinner last night because, you know, we knew when we talked to Boss Man, he said, you know, y'all going to need to get something because, um, he wasn't going to be able to be home in time for dinner. And so, um, child, we went and got Subway. That Subway tore my stomach up, and I've been sick, like, oh, So I really don't even feel like eating this morning either. Like, I got a little bit of hunger in this, but mm -mm. So, anyway, child, let me go ahead on and get my stuff. And I'll see y'all after work. that y'all had y'all flip the other way child hold on i can't turn it down too low she has a hundred some degrees out here a girl hot um <laughs> now things are comical things are comical had a good day had a real good day I go home and spend time with my family. Child, I almost left super duper late too. I must have looked up. But that's because they come and they bring me stuff like right at the end of the day. Pretty much to make me have to stay. I didn't mean to rhyme. It's just it is what it is. But anyway, girl going home. Is this thing? What is up with this? It will not sit still. Child, sorry about that. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to. I think now I'm getting anxious. I'm, I'm getting anxious, so I need to chill, chill out. Everything will work itself out. But I'm super excited. Get home. I sent an email um, to try to connect, do some connections, introductions, and things. It's been a day, y'all. Brought some more stuff home today. Tomorrow, I'm going to get my fridge and my microwave out of my office. I already had one per The person who was helping me asked me, why are you taking it out? You ain't using it no more? And I was like, no, I'm on a diet. So I don't want to have nothing tempting, you know. Because, I, I, you know, before I was filling up my thing, like, 
but now I don't bring juice, I don't bring pop, I only got, I only drink water, I get the water from work, so, and then I pretty much bring my food from home, um, and I got ice packed at home if I need to keep something cold, if I need to heat something up, I'll take it to the break room, you know, Man, I don't need to have my fridge and microwave in there no more. I took down all my Black Panther stuff except for my big Black Panther. I'll probably take that down tomorrow. Still got my Bumblebee stuff up. Some of it at least. But I'm slowly but surely removing items. Gosh, y'all, it's hot. It's 99 degrees. Mm. And I did have my air condition on. But here's the thing. Oh, because I, I did remote start the car. Let me tell you something about Diamond. So, girlfriend, she, she cooled off. Because as soon as I opened the door, it was cool. But one thing about Diamond, when she shut off, she shut off. And so all that coolness dissipated as soon as I opened the door. Cause, and that's the one thing I do like about my car. So like if somebody think they're going to steal something, you ain't stealing it because you ain't got no key. You know what I mean? And so it automatically shuts off. Um, but, oh, excuse me. But yeah, I was like, so it kind of defeated the purpose of trying to cool her off because, you know, go and see who done made my husband mad because I got an email from the Xbox people <laughs> said that the Xbox account was a, was reported so somebody must have said something ticked him off so he done snap oh my lord hell because I know it wasn't Miss Pena Miss Pena no better <laughs> who child I'm see for a minute so just to walk from here to the house, hot, hot, hot. I'm glad we got coffee yesterday and not today, cause baby, too hot to drink coffee today. Mm. But yeah, I want to check my emails. I think I'm gonna see it for a minute and check my emails, and then I'll go in the house. I just need, like, the uh, camera's only been on for nine minutes and that's not enough for me to decompress so i just need a few more minutes to just get myself together so let me do that and i'll see y'all on the flip side and good morning everybody good morning good morning good morning it's the boss lady here coming to you from uh, from diamond <laughs> from my vehicle mm, 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 mm. y'all let me just tell you i figured i'll talk to y'all on my way to work no. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, y'all be waiting for something, and you be like, "Goodness, you know how, like little kids." I put in the in the mind of like Christmas, you know, like, "Oh my God, I can't wait for Christmas because I'm gonna get." Or I I asked for this, so I know, you know, my uh my mom or my daddy gonna give me this. Or like it's birthdays and kids. Oh, I can't wait to my birthday because I'm going here. I'm gonna do this. or I'm gonna spend time with this person, that person. You know what I mean? It's just like you've been so excited for stuff, and so that's kind of where I am right now. Like I'm so excited for everything, but child, I'm so excited for things to make a change, make a swift shift. Um, but then. It's like, okay, now, you know, hold on, let's do things decent and in order. Taking it back to church. Decent and in order. So, you know, you got to wait. So, I'm in the wait. I'm in the wait. I'm in the wait. Um, and you know how, you know how, like, parents be like, now, I know your birthday on Saturday or your party on Saturday, but if you ain't doing da 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 da, -da you're not going to have no party. You know what I mean? So, you still got to, you know, do what you're supposed to do. Follow, follow directions or you know, don't be cutting up and acting ugly. Stuff like that. I remember that. Mom was like, ah, you better not be acting ugly. You ain't gonna have nothing. So, I am 
following suit <laughs> with all of that. Not to say that ugly is not being done to me every single day. Yes. Now, this dress I got on, I kind of don't really like it. I really don't. I, I mean, I'm embarrassed with you. When I saw it on Timu, I was like, oh, that be, you know. But now, I'm like, I really don't like it. Um, but it's okay for today. Uh, it also is supposed to, like, be off the shoulder. And because I don't have those kind of shoulders where it just, it will just stay, I just pulled it up. So, yeah. And I didn't put no jewelry on with it. I'm like, let my hair be my jewels. <laughs> That's how I feel today. Um, it's hotter than a Dickens outside. It's already 80 plus degrees. Supposed to get to dang near 100. And heat index between 110 to 115. So, child, ain't nobody thinking about being cute. I was going to wear... Um, this capri suit outfit i have but i decided against that i thought it was dewy out here oh i can't even show y'all mm. it's like all kinds of fog watch over my shoulder you should be able to see it. you see it how it's all white in the grass over my shoulder there yeah because i'm like i can't see i came outside I mean, it was like that even outside the house my glasses fogged up so i came outside um boss man was sitting there wrapped up in a blanket baby i had that house cold do you hear me i'm like no i'm gonna need this air pumping because it was so hot outside yesterday y'all like literally it took your breath away like literally and um i remember being at work and somebody had opened the door and had the door open for a minute and i was sitting in the hallway just sitting Man, I was like, let me get my tail back to my office where it's cold. I ain't had nobody complaining about my air yesterday. And it'll turn, oh, it's cold, it's cold. Ah, da, da. Child, it wasn't cold yesterday, let me tell you. It was just right and perfect for everybody because everybody was coming to my room. Nobody was up there because a lot of times people come in there, oh, oh, oh my goodness, child. Mm. Anyway, so I'm in the wait. Um, I was up, uh, well, I went to bed early yesterday. When I tell you I went to bed early, honey, I got home at 3.30-ish. Chair. Oh, excuse me. By 4 o'clock, I was in the bed, sleep. I kid you not. Um, and then I woke up around, well, I got woken up by my husband cooking. And, y'all, my husband can cook, so I'm just going to say that. My husband can cook. But my husband was hungry at the time of his cooking. I guess he thought I wasn't going to be laid down long. So he, you know, was trying to wait it out for me to get up and, you know, cook. And I was, I was in that bed knocked out. So I don't know around what time it was. It was, I don't know, maybe around 6 something. Child, he must have went in that kitchen and got to uh, making him a steak. And when my husband is hungry, he tends to fast cook. And that's the only time he really will <laughs> cook. But... So he was fast cooking. Chow had turned the flame up because he was like, you know, wanting the food to hurry up and cook. Baby, he had turned that flame up. And of course, you know, grease gonna get the popping and, you know, and I mean, he didn't burn anything. I mean, the grease. But all of a sudden, it got the smoking and the alarms went off. And mind you, I'm knocked out sleep. Like, you know that type of sleep Man, I wish I could find that clip from the cartoon that my husband says I'm like. Because, uh, oh my gosh. All I know is that alarm is scaring me to death. And I started yelling because like my eyes were still closed. And I'm like, what is it? What is it? I'm, you know, because I'm like panicking my whole, because like my whole body was like, you know how your ears hear something? Like, I don't know. I liken it to, um, if I'm in a deep, deep sleep, it's going to take me a minute to get all of my body parts awake. So, the first thing that was aw awakened was my ears, like, sound alert, you know. And so, I'm and I'm wrapped up in my blanket. I'm sleeping so good, y'all. I don't know if you ever heard me or seen me post on, like, Instagram when I be like, man, me and the blanket and pillow got a date, you know what I mean? So, I'm, like, snuggled up. But my ears was like, girl. So, I was like, what is that? I like it. <laughs> I'm, and I'm trying to wake my, the rest of my body up. The rest of my body was limp. 
Like, girl, I get that what you all don't you talk about, honey. I could not get up to save my life. He started hollering back, you know, because I he could hear the panic in my voice. He was like, I got it, I got it. It's nothing, you know, nothing's on fire, blah blah blah. You know, I was just cooking, and I'm just like, what the you know, and then when I realized that what he's saying, I then I get mad because I'm like you know what the heck husband shoot i'm sleeping got the things going on child so he had to start closing doors like because i was i mean then i'm fussing i'm sleep but i'm fussing because i'm trying like every time i take a deep breath i can smell you know the the food or whatever he's cooking i was so <laughs> upset and then i finally after they finally closed the door because i could tell he had closed off the house because i could tell that the smell was going away or whatever child once he did that, then I fell back to sleep, so I didn't wake back up until it was like almost 10 o'clock. Oh, excuse me. So then I was like, so husband, for real? What I mean, what? What? He was like, it was the oil. It was the oil. Because we're out of olive oil, so he used vegetable oil. But I'm like, no, it wasn't the oil. It was the operator. It was the cooker. I'm like, I was like, dude. He almost had me coming out that room <laughs> for real. I'm like, I'm trying to chill. So, anyway, that was last night, y'all. But so, after that, you know, I was woke a while because, like I said, I had went to bed super early. So, I got up, <clears throat> I got up, and I, uh, I got up and was talking to Miss Peanut, and I was just kind of talking to her about. I don't know my my anxiousness I, you know it's like I'm really anxious about some things and blah 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 so uh and then I got up paying bills which normally that's not the best thing to do to get up in the middle of the night paying bills but baby it was only one bill so it got taken care of um and then you know I was bouncing checkbook and you know another uh what you call it uh payment or whatever came through so then I was making sure that that was you know taken care of as well I cannot believe my whole uh yeah windshield is foggy like every time I clean it it just go right back <laughs> anyway so um so then you know since I was up once midnight hit I was like okay I'm gonna go ahead on and log in and do my prayer you know, do my devotion and do my prayer. I normally do it when I wake up in the morning before I get out of bed, but I decided, you know, I want to have kind of a calm, calm spirit. So I started my devotion last night after midnight and um, I got to praying. I, well, I read scripture, read a, little, a lot of scripture actually, and then um, I got to praying and released it. But yeah, I just want to tell y'all, you know, you know how you just, you be anxious about something and it's like, you know, delay don't mean denial. Sometimes you just got to wait. So I'm in the wait and I know without a shadow of a doubt, it's going to be all right. So, hey y'all, it's the boss lady. I'm back. It's after work. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go and pick up dinner. I just called it in. So that's why you're not seeing me pull out from work. But yeah, I, I, uh, I had a, a long day like <laughs> oh Jesus I had a long day we're just gonna say that um yeah like seriously long 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 sorry I don't turn the air up but y'all it's hotter than a witch is behind out here I guarantee you the devil is walking the earth by the way people been acting I'm sure of it I'm sure of it Fanning his clothes all over the place. Good Jesus, it's hot. My car is saying 95. I don't know what the heat index is. I know it's over 100, but my God. I don't know if you can... Well, I'll show you after I pull off. Give me one second. So you're going to hear um, probably a little rattle. You know, like a... You know, a little rattle thing. Because... Um, let me see if I can move y'all. Y'all see that? Well, oh, dang. You can't even really see it. Because the organizers are in the way. Well, anyway, in the back of my truck <laughs> is my refrigerator and my microwave. So the maintenance guy met me this morning. And 
politely put it in my car. It's gonna have to stand there for at least a day because child, listen. Ain't nobody trying to be moving all that stuff in this 95 degrees. So, I, I mean, it's secure. I got it covered up. I mean, my car is black anyway, but on the inside. But um, I got it covered up with towels and blankets and stuff. It's not moving. What you're hearing, that little, the don't do whatever, that's the, which I didn't think about that at the time. But it's the plate that's inside the microwave. I didn't think to take it out of there. I don't know what I was thinking, child. And I'm so sorry about the angle of the camera. So, and we just gonna leave it alone because child ain't nobody got time. I'm trying to drive. Um. So when I go and get my car detailed and they're in here and they're doing their due diligence or whatever, they knock my mount around. Well, then I ended up adjusting it the other day to lift it up, child. And ever since I lift it up, it ain't been right since. So, because I, then I wanted it to come back down, whatever. So, you getting it the way you getting it, honey. I'm sorry, today. Okay. Right now, it's too hot to think about it. Um, But, yeah, today was a day, was a day, was a day, Jesus, my God. And then, even though I said in the first part of this video, you know, I'm just going to be laying in the weight and, you know, whatever, I started to get frustrated. I did. I started to get frustrated. Then I had to think about my prayer. Because I felt like, or I feel like, and this, and I could be interpreting wrong, but I feel like stuff is just being thrown at me with no regard to my thoughts, my feelings, regardless if it's something that I, I am to do, it's still like, you know, here you go, and I mean, just kind of like an afterthought. So, I mean, I had a, I had a moment today, I was in my office, and my eyes teared up and yep I had to reach out to my baby girl cause I'm like whoo she was like mom maybe you just need to go ahead and go get a temp job I was like no cause I don't want I don't want to rock the boat you know let me just you know so anyway but uh I don't know I just I'm feeling very disrespected at this point like you know, first of all, I feel like people are tiptoeing around me. And then I feel like people are just, like, talking to me just any old kind of way. And it's just like, oh, okay. And it's like, I can't have a reaction or a feeling, but everybody else can. Yeah. So, anyway, so that that's kind of how I was feeling today. And so... You know, I literally had to get up and walk away from my desk. Like, I literally walked away from my desk and went all the way to the break room and just sat down. Sat down, did nothing. I was on my phone, you know, but, yeah. And it, I think, too, because I, I've been waiting on something, waiting on communication, and the, the communication just hadn't came through. And I was just like, oh, my goodness. And so, you know, I was just kind of, I, don't, I won't say having a pity party, but basically trying to overstep what God has already designed and set up. So, you know, when I finally got my girl, I don't know where y'all cut off at. Anyway, what I was trying to say was I had a really bad day. Um, I had some tears today again. Uh, but, and then so I was overly anxious, you know, and I had to get myself together. You know, I had to remember my prayer and you know, just give it to God. So, you know, I went, left my office for a little bit just to kind of get myself together. Then I went back to my office, went back to work. And then, wouldn't you know, I reached out to one person and then another person responded to me. So I got confirmation from two people on some stuff. So, you know, it is what it is at this point. I mean, there's still no movement, right? There's no movement. There's nothing... I mean, there's excitement, yes, but there's nothing yet. So, you know, I'm just going to just keep doing what I'm doing, trusting and believing. Um, oh, I got bit, y'all. Like mosquitoes, like, jeez. Anyway, um, so that'd be that. Um, it's hotter than heck out here. And the, the camera cut off because the heat is so bad that it overheated my camera. So, yeah. But... Like I said, I'm getting ready to get, ooh, getting ready to get dinner. And, uh, 
We're having Devani's hoagie sandwiches and salad tonight. I really didn't want nothing hot, but I really didn't want nothing cold either. So, anyway. Oh, honey, I ain't trying to hit you. Because, girl, look. Okay? Get it together. Get it together, sweetheart. Anyway, anyhow. So, I'm going to go in here because I don't want to waste my gas and uh, go get the food. And I'll be back in a little bit. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Oh, I was in and out in just barely 10 minutes, if that. So now I'm getting ready to go home so I can get out this dress <clears throat> and uh, lay my little self on down, honey, because my sister is tired. My sister is tired. Tired, tired, tired. And I know one day I'm going to think, I'm not sending out no emails and no 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock. I know you're like, huh, what? Because last night, you know, I told you I went to bed when I got home and then I um, woke up and was, kind of was up for a little bit. So before I, you know, had did my devotion and all that stuff and was trying to get right with Jesus, um, I'm sitting there and once again, my phone buzz, email come through at 10 something, email come through at 11 something. And it's job related. I'm like, what? So, yeah. Woo -wee. But that will be over after a while, after a while, after a while. After a while, after a while. My God. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call my mama real quick and talk to her. And, uh, yeah. So. We got some good food tonight. So, boss man's having a meatball sandwich. Um, like a, you know, um, meatball hoagie is what I'm saying. And then Miss Pina and I, we're having a honey mustard bacon chicken sandwich. Um, and then her and I are having Caesar salads and the husband is having a garden salad. I hope the salads didn't spoil from the time that I walked from the door to the car. Because, honey, I'm telling you, it's hot out here. It's not right. The devil run around fanning his clothes. Ooh wee. But anyway, so I like I said, I was waiting on communication and I was like, it's all right, Wednesday. I haven't heard anything, blah blah blah. Um so I'm like, okay, you know. So I got what I I got what I was looking for, just not in the timing that I would like it. If that makes sense. And then what I got, the timing is still delayed, delayed, delayed. I'm like, Lord have mercy. So, you know, but I know things got to be done in a timely, orderly fashion. And I would prefer it to be orderly as opposed to, you know. So, we good. We good, we good, we good. Who we? Nobody complimented this dress. I don't, I don't care because I don't like it either. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I don't like it. I don't like this dress at all. Um, but I was fully covered, unlike some folks. Uh-huh. Yep. So, anyway. I was going to wear a skirt today. And then I was just like, mm, I don't feel like no skirt. I want something long. And, you know, so I put this on. But, yeah. I think I kind of want to go home and take a bath first. I kind of want to just like take a bath and then put my jammers on and then eat. That's what I really want to do. Yeah, because then after that, then I can just go to bed. Husband be home in about 45 minutes. I should be home in about 10 minutes, if that. So, I feel, oh, Chad been playing this radio so much. Hopefully. Uh, Miss Pena don't mind how mama going to bed. Yesterday she didn't bother me. Yesterday was the first day she didn't get in bed with me. She was like, mama don't feel good. And when my back was bothering me today, y'all, I was like, this is coming at a bad time. <laughs> coming at a bad time. Like, please don't be hurting me. So, but I'm going to, um, oh, when I talked to my doctor, my, you know, chiropractor, he wants me to come in, he said, within the next two weeks. So, I think I'm going to push it off 
a little bit. And so he said next two weeks, so not this week. So yeah, so ugh, next week. Uh, maybe towards the end of next week, I'll try to go in and see him before the holiday. Yeah. That'd be great. But all right, y'all, I'm about to go before this heat overtake my camera again. And I'll see y'all in a new video. Bye, guys.